all new this half hour on Denver 7, San Francisco could become the first city in the country to ban police from using facial recognition technology. And look around, there are cameras just about everywhere for security and for traffic. So we know it might seem a little creepy to think about, but <laughs> critics are more concerned about what can be done with the video recorded. Nicole Brady is live on the 16th Street Mall in Denver for us this morning. No shortage of cameras there either. And Nicole, tell us what no. you've learned about facial recognition technology here. Well, if you weren't sure as to how prevalent this was, all you need to do is pull out your driver's license, right? Remember, three years ago, the state told us we could no longer smile in our driver's license because they need a face that works with facial recognition technology. This is already being used in airports, at big events like concerts. And then, as you mentioned, in Denver, we certainly see cameras all over the city, those halo cameras Denver police use for security. But we asked Denver police yesterday, and they told us right now they are not using facial recognition applications. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation, meanwhile, does use this technology to take images of people and compare them to mugshots in the federal database. CBI told us yesterday it has not used this on any high profile investigations yet, and they are still developing policies and training surrounding it. Critics take issue with the argument that this is about safety, saying there are problems that this technology has with accuracy and racial bias. With Caucasian faces, uh, facial recognition is pretty good, uh, meaning it has a 90 to 95 percent accuracy rate. But with minorities, sometimes the accuracy rate drops to 70 percent. And the Colorado Bureau of Investigation was considering purchasing a type of software that can track people in real time and identify them by their face, but they decided not to pursue that any further and are just using the one that matches up to mugshots. Uh, some believe the vote in San Francisco today could have bigger implications, maybe leading other cities to consider more restrictions on this. Major tech companies like Microsoft and Amazon have opposed outright bans on facial recognition, but say that yeah, it's kind of creepy in some cases and probably does need some regulation. We're live along the 16th Street Mall. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.